in the world of concrete mixed design, what are the first three things that you would look at for making stronger concrete? Let's talk about that right now. I think the number one thing that you would look towards would be a super plasticizer or a water reducer product. What this does is this helps to achieve the placement viscosity that you're looking for out of your concrete mix design without overwatering, overhydrating your concrete mix. This is a very common failure point for people entry level into working with concrete. Overwatering concrete can significantly compromise the finished cured strength of the product, so it's important to not do that, but then it's so dry, how do you place it and finish it to, to uh, your satisfaction? You do so by using a super plasticizer or water reducer product. So what's the second thing that we should be looking towards if we want to make stronger concrete? Well, you're going to be looking towards a PVA glue or an acrylic latex glue. These are very common and pretty much every concrete admixture manufacturer has both options and they're usually pretty easy to tell them apart. They're both white. One of them is really thick. That one's a little thin there, but this one is just like milk. Here's another PVA here. It doesn't even make any noise. No, it's because it's so, so thick. PVA, polyvinyl acetate, is glue. So latex or acrylic or polyvinyl acetate glue. These are great things to add to a concrete mix if you're trying to make it stronger. And how does it work? It works exactly like you think adding glue to a concrete mix would. It just helps to bind things together, an extra layer of strength as everything dries and cures. The cement holds everything together, but also so it's glued together on top of that. So how else do you make strong concrete? The third most common way that you can make your concrete stronger is by adding finer aggregates to it. Imagine if you made your concrete from just cement and gravel, no sand at all. How strong do you think it would be? I don't think it'd be very strong at all. So we add that sand and that gives us this very strong finished product because it helps to fill all this, the smaller spaces or fines we call them in the world of aggregates. But on the microscopic level, that sand is still gigantic with these jaggedy irregular shapes. What, what if we were to pick something that's like still shaped like that, but like an order of magnitude or two smaller than what the sand is. It would still work together and create this strength matrix on the microscopic level. And much like the sand helped us to achieve strength when it filled the area between gravel and the size of sand, so would the same thing happen if we choose a much finer aggregate like densified silica fume or fly ash. So there's all kinds of stuff that you could potentially add to a concrete mix to make it stronger. And if you start looking towards the high compressive strength or the engineered concrete mix designs, this is what you're going to find is that they're gonna contain some of these additional aggregates which are extremely, extremely fine, helps to create a much more dense concrete. And especially if you combine that with things like PVA or latex, these things are absolutely going to make your concrete stronger. And then when we combined in the super plasticizer or water reducer product, now we're talking about some of the strongest concrete that you can buy. I mean, the exact amounts of each one that you use are going to be proprietary information and dependent entirely on the projects that you're doing and almost certainly overkill for any sort of do-it-yourself application. We're talking about structural levels of strength here that would be well in excess of, you know, 25, 50, 75 MPA or 5,000 to 10,000 plus PSI of compressive strength. These are really high numbers, but these products are how you achieve those high numbers when you're talking about making cement or making concrete. Otherwise, it would just be cement, sand, gravel, and water. And that's pretty strong, but you're probably not going to get above 20, 15 to 20 MPA or about maybe 2,000 PSI at best. So if you want really high numbers, you've got to augment the mix with admixtures. I hope you found this information helpful.